Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to update any homebrew app or emulator on your PS Vita to the latest version. So this could literally be anything. As long as you have a previous version and you know where to find the updated version, then I will show you how to do it in this video. So first of all, you need to find the app that needs updating. I actually need to update my MGBA emulator. Um, right now, it's on version 0.63 and version 0.70 was released maybe a couple of weeks ago and um, sometimes you can find out the version by holding the app wait for the three dots to appear if you click on that and then go to information um, sometimes it will say the version on here this is a homebrew app so it just isn't for some reason but I know what version it's on and I know it needs updating anyway um, so let's just go ahead and do it so the first thing you will need to do is open up Vita Shell so just find it and then just tap it and then just tap on start now once Vita Shell loads you will need to press select and then connect your PS Vita to your PC you can do this via USB or FTP server it's entirely up to you now guys over on your computer this is where you will need to find the updated version of the emulator um, or the homebrew app that you wish to update so I would recommend going to VitaDB and um, this has a very good source of the latest updates um, for the emulators and homebrew games and you can see the updates are even coming in today so I'm going to find MGBA and we can see that this is the version I need it's the latest version version 0.70 so we're going to click on it it's going to bring us to this page, scroll down, and we just want to click on download VPK. If it lets you download data for your homebrew app or emulator, um, you can download that as well and just replace it. But in this case, all we need to do is just download the VPK file. So just click on download VPK, and then that will begin at downloading. Once it's finished, go to your PC's downloads folder, just find it, and simply drag and drop it onto the root of your PS Vita. So once it's on here, I'll go back onto my PS Vita and I will show you guys what to do next. From here, we can actually go ahead and install the emulator um, or the homebrew applications VPK file. So if you just scroll down and go onto our UXO, this is where I copied across my VPK to. And if you scroll all the way down, you will be able to find yours somewhere on here. So here is mine, mgba.vpk. So I'm going to press X on it, X again to install it and then just simply wait for it to install. Now once it's installed, you can actually just back out of Vita Shell and completely close it down. And now you can go onto your home screen. So if you have a look, you shouldn't be able to find another copy of it. That is because it has completely replaced and updated the old version you have. Um, it might show on information, it probably won't on this app because it's obviously an emulator, but we can now just simply tap it and start it up and we shouldn't get any issues. And I've just noticed the version number is actually displayed down here. So before that would have been on 0.63 and now it's updated to 0.7, basically 0.70. And let me just prove it works as well. I can just tap on start, it will load up and it should even let me just load in my games. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. I actually got this question at least probably about three or four times a day. So I thought I might as well just make a video on it. Uh, this is pretty much how you update every single homebrew app, emulator, or basically custom app you've got installed on your PS Vita. So thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.